I was 19. I went into LA for a big meeting. I was going to sing for Larry Rudolph, who managed at the time Britney Spears. It was a big deal. I get to LA early. Roosevelt doesn't let us check in. My friend says, let's go to the beach. Go to the beach. In San Diego, he keeps driving, goes to Tijuana, Mexico. We're in Mexico. We get robbed immediately. We cross the border. The cops come in. They, they rob us. They take our money. I see him robbing my friend. So I, I only had like a little bit of money. So I'm like shoving it in my shoe. We're all sad. We just got robbed. The cops took like 500 bucks off my friend. Uh, we go into town, which was crazy because we're riding up these cliffs and the cliffs have no sides. It's just, it's just like road and then off a cliff. If your car goes off the cliff, you are dead. Oh it was insane. And then we were driving through like where the people lived and the houses looked like almost like forts that you build when you're a kid, like trick, hammer nails, like just things you find all around. That's like what we're driving through the neighborhood. We go to this bar called Adelita's because we're like shaken up by the cops just robbed us. They told us they were going to take us to Tijuana jail. We were like nervous. We go into Adelita's, we sit down to get a beer. We look around, we realize we're in a brothel, all right? This young girl comes up and sits with us, very beautiful. She starts talking to me. And the first thing I say to her is, hey, I'm just letting you know, like, we got robbed, I got no money. She's like, it's all right. So she starts talking to me. And at that time, I was starting the band. The band didn't have a name, but I was starting to write songs. I was singing. And I was living in my car in Vegas, and I was feeling a little bad for myself. You know, you have a downtime, you feel bad for yourself. I was feeling a little bad for myself. But then I meet this girl, and she starts telling me about her life, and she's like, you know, I've, I've been doing this since I was 13 years old. You know, uh, my parents are disabled. I take care of my brothers and sisters. I have a kid of my own. You know, I only make enough money to feed them barely. And she's telling me her whole life, like, like a lot of her trials and tribulations. And after sitting down with her and meeting her, and she was my age. We were both the same age. That was that touched me too, because it's like, wow, we're we're at the same point in life. When I left Tijuana, I felt really grateful for even living in my car. I felt grateful for having clean water. I felt grateful for having rails on the side of our roads. You know, I was just like, I left there with a whole different experience. And when I drove across that border, I was like, I'm naming the band after this place. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I named the band Adelita's Way. All right. Yeah. They like our goosebumps, dude. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Seriously. Yeah. So it, it was just, uh, it, through this whole journey, the one thing I've never let go of is, is being grateful. Being grateful that... that I'm even here. You know, a lot of people will look at, you know, this isn't the, what people think the dream is, right? They don't think like, oh, you're playing in front of uh, 200 people, 100 people in a club, whatever uh, uh, they think, you know? But to me, it is. Yeah. To me, it is. It's just, it's just uh, I feel blessed, so it's good.